Kicking off our countdown at number 10, we have the stunning Retiro Park. A verdant oasis nestled in the heart of Madrid, Retiro Park was once the exclusive playground of Spanish royalty. Today, this expansive park, spanning over 125 hectares, is a beloved hub for locals and tourists alike. From the glittering waters of the Grand Pond, presided over by the majestic monument to Alfonso the Puinth, to the shimmering Crystal Palace, every corner of Retiro Park is a testament to Madrid's rich history and vibrant culture. This isn't just a park, it's an outdoor museum, a concert hall, a runner's paradise, and a sanctuary for Sunday strollers. A place where artists, lovers, families, and friends gather to soak up the Spanish sun, to play, to ponder, and to picnic. Whether you're an avid jogger or just someone who appreciates a good picnic, Retiro Park is the site for you. At number 9, we find ourselves at the illustrious Museo del Prado. This isn't just a museum, folks, it's a shrine to fine art, housing an extensive and diverse collection of European art that dates from the 12th to the early 20th century. Imagine walking through halls echoing with the whispers of centuries, surrounded by the masterpieces of some of the world's most renowned artists. In these hallowed halls, you'll encounter works by the Spanish masters, Velázquez and Goya. Velázquez's Las Meninas and Goya's The 3rd of May, 1808, are just two of the many awe-inspiring pieces you'll find here. But it's not all about Spain. The Prado also boasts an impressive array of Italian and Flemish art. So whether you're an art aficionado or a casual observer, the Museo del Prado offers an enriching journey through the annals of European art. For all you art enthusiasts out there, Museo del Prado is a must-visit. Coming in at number 8, we have the ancient Templo de Debod. This isn't just any ordinary temple, folks. This piece of history was originally built in Egypt over 2,000 years ago. It's dedicated to the gods Amun and Isis, and its walls tell countless tales of the past. But how did an Egyptian temple end up in Madrid, you ask? In the mid-20th century, when Egypt was at risk of losing several historical monuments due to the construction of the Aswan High Dam, Spain stepped in to help. As a token of gratitude, Egypt gifted the Templo de Debod to Spain. Now, it sits in Madrid, offering a breathtaking vantage point for sunset views. It's a place where you can feel the pulse of ancient civilizations and witness the beauty of the present in one go. A visit to Templo de Debod offers a unique blend of history and beauty. At number 7, we journey to the legendary Santiago Bernabeu Stadium. With its rich history and status as a beacon for football enthusiasts worldwide, the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium represents much more than just football ground. It's a symbol of Madrid's passion for sports. This iconic sporting venue has been the stage for countless unforgettable matches, earning it a hallowed place in annals of football. Santiago Bernabeu Stadium's central position in the world of football makes it an absolute must-see for any fan visiting Madrid. But it's not just about the games, it's about the experience. The electric atmosphere, the deafening cheers of the crowd, and the feeling unity that comes with watching a match here are things that cannot be replicated elsewhere. Whether you're an avid fan or a casual observer, Santiago Bernabeu Stadium offers an unforgettable experience. It's a popular pilgrimage site for fans, a monument to the sport's history, and a testament to the city's enduring love for football. A visit to the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium truly is a must for any sports enthusiast. It is in every sense the heart of sports in Madrid. Number six on our list is the vibrant Gran Via. Picture a boulevard pulsating with life, where the energy is contagious and the rhythm of the city beats in time with your heart. That's Gran Via, Madrid's Broadway. This bustling street is a smorgasbord of culture, fashion, and gastronomy, with a myriad of shops and restaurants that cater to every taste. Whether you're hunting for the latest fashion trends or sampling delectable Spanish cuisine, Gran Via has you covered. But it's not just about the shopping and dining. Gran Via is also an architectural marvel, boasting a blend of styles from Art Deco to Neo Mutajar. Each building tells a story, a testament to Madrid's rich history and vibrant culture. As you walk down the street, let the beautiful facades and intricate designs transport you back in time. If you want to experience Madrid's pulse, Gran Via is the place to be. Halfway through our countdown at number 5, we have the iconic Puerta de Alcala. This monumental gateway, standing proudly in the heart of Madrid, is a testament to the grandeur of the city's past. Conceived in the 18th century, it was commissioned by King Charles III as part of his efforts to modernize Madrid. 
The Puerta de Alcala stands as a spectacular example of neoclassical design, showcasing intricate carvings and a stunning five-arched structure. Its name, translating to Alcala Gate, stems from its original function as a gateway into the city along the road to Alcala. Over the centuries, it has witnessed the ebb and flow of history, standing as a silent sentinel to the changing times. Today, the Puerta de Alcala is more than just a historical monument. It's a symbol of Madrid's cultural legacy, a favorite among photographers, and a must-see destination for any traveler. Puerta de Alcala is a symbol of Madrid's rich past. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel to help us produce more content for you. Share with us in the comments as well your favorite site, other sites we missed, or other ideas for this channel. We value your feedback. It is an absolute must. Now, let's head back to our countdown. At number 4, we find the modern Museo Nacional Centro de Arte Reina Sofia. A jewel in the crown of Madrid's cultural scene, this museum is a feast for art lovers, especially those with a penchant for 20th century art. The Reina Sofia, as locals affectionately call it, boasts an impressive collection of Spanish and international masterpieces, with a particular emphasis on the works of Pablo Picasso. One of the museum's most celebrated pieces is Picasso's Haunting Guernica, a powerful political statement and a testament to the horrors of war. This iconic painting alone is worth the visit, but the Reina Sofia offers so much more. Its rotating exhibitions ensure that there are always fresh and innovative artworks on display, keeping the museum vibrant and engaging. From the avant-garde movements of the early 20th century to the contemporary art of today, the Reina Sofia is a visual journey through modern art history. For a taste of modern art, don't miss the Reina Sofia. Coming in at number 3, we have the vibrant El Rastro. This isn't your ordinary marketplace, folks. El Rastro holds the title as the largest open-air flea market in all of Madrid. It's a bustling hub of activity, a place where the old and the new converge. Every Sunday, the streets come alive with vendors selling a fascinating array of goods. From antique furniture and vintage clothing, to handmade crafts and delicious street food, there's something for everyone here. It's not just about the shopping, though. El Rastro offers a unique experience that's deeply ingrained in Madrid's culture. The market's vibrant atmosphere, the lively chatter, and the eclectic mix of items you can find make it a place like no other. It's a place to haggle, to explore, to discover. So whether you're hunting for a rare vinyl record, a unique piece of art, or just soaking in the local culture, El Rastro is a treasure trove waiting to be explored. At number two, we return to the lively Puerta del Sol. This square is more than just a popular meeting spot. It's the heart of Madrid, pumping life into the city with its pulsating energy. As the countdown to midnight begins on New Year's Eve, all eyes turn to Puerta del Sol. The square transforms into a sea of joyous faces, eagerly awaiting the chimes of the iconic clock to ring in the new year. But Puerta del Sol isn't just for New Year's celebrations. It's a hub of activity all year round. Whether it's day or night, the square is always bustling, Street performers entertain passers-by, locals catch up over Café Con Leche and nearby coffee shops, and tourists take advantage of the countless shopping opportunities. Puerta del Sol is a true testament to Madrid's vivacious spirit. It's a place where tradition meets modernity, and where every moment is a celebration of life. There's never a dull moment at Puerta del Sol. Finally, at number one, we have the majestic Palacio Real. This grand edifice isn't just another pretty face in Madrid's cityscape, it's the official residence of the Spanish royal family. Though they choose to live elsewhere, the palace remains a symbol of their enduring legacy. The Palacio Real is a testament to the power of architecture. Its stunning facade with its intricate details and imposing stature echoes the grandeur of Spain's royal past. Step inside, and you're walking through the pages of Spanish history. Each room within these hallowed walls tells a story. From the opulent throne room with its dazzling chandeliers to the royal pharmacy stocked with antique medicine bottles, the palace is a treasure trove of historical artifacts. Don't forget to take a moment in the Sabatini Gardens, an oasis of calm in the bustling city. These manicured gardens with their symmetrical design provide the perfect backdrop to the splendid palace. For a royal experience, a visit to Palacio Real is a must. And there you have it our countdown of the top 10 sites to visit in Madrid. We started our journey at the Serene Retiro Park, ventured through the illustrious Museo del Prado, admired the ancient Templo de Debod, and soaked in the energy at Puerta del Sol. We strolled down Gran Via, marveled at Puerta de Alcala, 
and delved into art at Museo Nacional Centro de Arte Reina Sofia. We then explored El Rastro Market, revisited Puerta del Sol, and finally stood in awe at Palacio Real. From parks to palaces, Madrid is a city filled with wonders waiting to be discovered.